I remember in, in Trivandrum when we started the techno park and the early set of companies moved in, way back in the mid-90s. Most of the companies here were uh, small and medium enterprises. So they had all come, I was at that point of time working in the IT department, so they had come and met us and said that, look, we are not getting employable people into our companies. There's a problem with the educational system. And it's very interesting that they came to IT department to voice this concern. They did not go to the academic institution per se and voice this concern. So we listened to them at that point of time, it is I think mid 90s, 95, 96. Their basic concern was that the engineering syllabus did not include any mention on Java or PhD. And that was the type of programming skills which students, they expected the students to have for them to be employed. So we started a conversation with the industry. We understood their requirements, we understood their uh, level of uh, competence or level of skilling which uh, they had expected the students to have. Then we started talking to the academic institutions, which are that point of time the university. The university was extremely clear. They said that, look, we are an academic facility, we, are, we manage the curriculum, we, our job is to provide knowledge, our job is not to provide a specific company required skill. It, it's, it's broadly stitching together knowledge, uh, gathering wealth, uh, wealth of information, that type of thing. So there was an academic, there was an uh, ideological disconnect between these two. So we tried a bit with the university, asked them to change, uh, include some of these evolving things into the curriculum, which the bureaucracy which is there in the university would take a very long time to get this mainstream. So finally we ended up with a uh, via media, we talked to the Computer Society of India, Computer Society of India, the local chapter here, started a finishing school in the engineering college here where all students who wanted to get into IT would get identified and they will give us some uh, bridge courses in these type of uh, requirements and at the end of it the industry was happy, the academy was happy because they didn't dilute their ideological rigor or whatever type of this thing. Students got placed. Now this is the background of academia uh, industry interaction in the mid-90s.